consular work is the closest to citizens, to their needs and interests during travel abroad. The current annual average of requests for consular services processed worldwide is around 800,000. The Romanian consulates are effectively serving 20% of Romania's population, which has taken residence or domicile abroad. The MFA has created and hosts the Consular Crisis Center, a structure equipped with modern capabilities and technology and provided with a situation room matching any applicable European standard. Once this operational structure is activated at the Ministry, all of these mechanisms' components will work 24-7 until the consular crisis is dealt with. For a better picture of this work, we can provide a few examples of the latest work the MFA has done to assist Romanian citizens in various consular risk situations. The successive evacuation of more than 600 Romanian citizens from Syria, which started in 2011. Romania took over consular assistance and protection in Syria for French, Canadian, Australian and Moldavian citizens. Evacuation in three successive missions in 2014 of 150 Romanian citizens from the Gaza Strip. Those were particularly complex missions which also required considerable human and logistical assistance from the MFA crisis cell. Managing particularly complex and dangerous operations to secure the release of Romanian citizens who have been kidnapped by criminal groups. Rapid reaction in the case of the road accidents in Marseille, France in September 2012 and Montenegro in June 2013, both of which resulted in a significant number of Romanian casualties. The January 2013 terror attack in Ina Manas, Algeria, where three Romanian citizens were successfully rescued and repatriated. Given the numerous consular crises successfully managed lately, the Consular Crisis Center has earned the nickname of Crisis Cell of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which is also the name under which the general public knows it. The Consular Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is the specialist structure that manages consular activity in its entirety. In view of the complexity of the electronic consular systems that have been implemented or are on the way, the Consular Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, through its Consular Relations Department, has established a center to monitor consular activity. The Consular Relations Directorate has supervision over most of the consular work performed by the entire Romanian consular network abroad. An important component of the department's mission is working with the public to provide the supralegalization of Romanian or foreign official documents. Among other things, Romania's joining the European Union led to an increase of our country's visibility, and in turn, this increased foreign citizens' interest in traveling to Romania for various purposes. The National Visa Center is the structure inside the MFA that deals with and manages the issuance of visas for entry in Romania. It thus emerged the need for improvement primarily by modernizing visa services provided at the diplomatic missions and consular offices. The National Center for Diplomatic and Official Passports is mainly intended for processing applications for diplomatic and official passports, issued to Romanian statesmen in their official capacity to represent national interests. The National Center for Diplomatic and Official Passports coordinates the activity concerning the proper application of legal provisions in relation to the issuance of travel documents for Romanian citizens. The travel document, the simple temporary passport, the ordinary passport and the travel document for foreigners. The Consular Staff Training Center is a dedicated service that contributes to development and improvement of the MFA staff specialized in consular affairs. The workspace that is arranged to simulate a real consular office at Schengen standards includes three windows for working with the public, where all the consular services one would provide at a consulate can be simulated as well. In the realm of consular protection and public information strategy, the consular department has created the Consular Communication and Project Promotion Unit to also cover the preventive side. In partnership with all the mobile telephony operators in Romania, a campaign was launched under the heading Travel Safe – One SMS Can Save Your Life. 
Following implementation of the project, Romanian citizens traveling to countries for which the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has issued travel advisories because of local security risks will receive an automatic text message warning on their phone, which also contains the contact information of the Romanian diplomatic representations that can provide consular assistance in those regions. In connection to that campaign, a tablet and smartphone app called Travel Safe has also been launched. The public campaign Drugs Will Change Your Destination was designed jointly with the National Anti-Drug Agency and intends to draw attention to international drug trafficking and the dangers and punishments arising from possession, use and trafficking of narcotics. When it comes to the modernization of the consular network, the primary project is the integrated portal eCons. As part of this integrated consular system, ECONS, it was implemented the support and contact center for the Romanian citizens living abroad, who basically has two main components, a call center and a mail center. A team of operators is working non-stop in order to answer to all Romanians that address the staff of the diplomatic missions. At this point in time, we have sufficient basis to support the statement that implementing the new strategies, concepts and projects can transform the Romanian consular service into one of the most modern of its kind in Europe. At present, the Romanian consular network consists of 139 accredited representations in other states, 94 of which operate within diplomatic missions and 49 are career consulates. Added to those are 184 honorary consular offices which can be involved in consular assistance and protection for Romanian citizens in special and emergency situations abroad. No matter how far from home, Romania is there for all Romanians.